In this tutorial, we're going to show how to uh, open images and event files in uh, DS9. Um, you start with uh, an image because they're the easiest. Um, so here's a Chandra image. Uh, it's a 44 5 by 30, 368 image. Uh, and you simply just load it at DS9 on the command line. You can also use the file open, but uh, you notice the uh, bin menu is disabled because uh, you can only bin event files, not images. We'll see that in another tutorial. Uh, but you can zoom an image, um, and then you can do, you know, go to the races. So you can start smoothing, you can draw contours, um, whatever you wanted to do with DS9, um, you're ready to go with an image. Um, when you look at an event list, um, you'll see the primary is usually empty. Uh, there's nothing there. Uh, the event is a table now, and it's you know 456,000 rows. Um, we can load that DS9 the same way, um, and you see something you know different. This is the same OBS ID, same data set. Um, one was an image, one was a, the event file. Um, if I try zooming out, um, you still don't see much. Uh, but now the bin menu is activated, and I can uh, re-bin the image. Uh, so if I bin it by eight. Um, we basically see the same thing we saw before in the uh, the fits image, and the same thing at this point. You can go off and start smoothing your contours or um, whatever you wanted to do. Um, but with event files and tables, um, you have more options. Um, we can go back to the bin, and by default, it makes a 1024 by 1024 image. We can make that a little smaller, uh, 512 by 512. Um, make some analysis tasks run a little faster. Um, and if you center click with the mouse, you can recenter the image and then rebin it around that new center point. Um, that way you can see more of the more of the data set. Um, the whole set of bidding parameters is available at the bottom menu there. Um, so you can see what columns you're being that are being binned on X and Y. Uh, the min and max ranges that it bends it over, the current blocking factor, and the center that it's binned over. Um, we can look at uh, binning in different coordinate systems, so the TDET, which is a Chandra tile detector coordinate system. Um, and this is basically showing the uh, the five chips that are turned on um, in there in a pseudo configuration, pseudo real configuration. Um, we can look at chip coordinates, but oops, Nothing's there. Oh, that's because we left the binning at the 4,300 uh, chip coordinates are around five or one to uh, one to one k. So we need to change the center, and we can re uh, rebin the data set. Um, what we're seeing now though is all chips because we didn't filter chips. Um, so we can actually go in and say, well, I just want to see the data for CCD ID equals one. And now just that data is being displayed. Yeah, get rid of that. Um, we can go back to uh, sky coordinates, just sky x and y. And now this time I'm going to remember to change the bin center back to 4096, 4096. And we now see just the chip one data um, in sky coordinates. You can clear the filter and apply, and then all the chips come back. And uh, that's it for uh, this part.